We will talk today about the optimal solution and the corner point. The moment you solve your linear programming problem and you manage to find the feasible region that you're looking for, now you are facing a topic saying that what if I want to know what is the best solution for this exact problem and what are those corner points for the solution as we saw in the previous lectures the feasible region is designed in a way that you have a certain area of the Cartesian then you encapsulate that area with the line equations straight lines basically and based on that you decide if your problem needs maximization or minimization where is your feasible uh, region is located from there we need to know what is the optimal solution what is the best maximum value for z that will satisfy the solution for this problem and what are my corner points that I use to find my optimal solution so we have a theory that we want or a theorem that we want to talk about related to that topic first theorem is saying if a linear program has an optimal solution then it is also has an optimal solution that is a corner point of the feasible region so sometimes we have some cases where we don't have an optimal solution we find a feasible region that it's too much generalized and it's not encapsulated with lines across the x and y axis so it's too much generalized feasible region so we can't have an optimal solution decision on that so if it happened to have an optimal solution as we will see after a while then that optimal solution has uh, a corner points of the feasible region in order to clarify this theorem let's go down here so here as you see we have in yellow the feasible region and this region is showing you corner points so we have here the feasible region is decided to be in here same as the example we mentioned in the last lecture now I'm looking at two things beyond the point of deciding the feasible region firstly what's my optimal solution and probably before that what are my corner points that I need to use to inspect and find my optimal solution basically each point of the feasible region shape is called a corner point any intersection between a line and an axis either y axis which is x2 or x axis which is x1 in this case or two lines that are made out of the constraints crossing together they are shaping a corner point so right here we have a corner point for the feasible region this corner point should be a pair of parameter x and y as you know so this is considered a value of x to be or x1 to be 0 and a value of y which is x2 to be 80 so this point this corner point called point 0 and 80 then you have another corner point in here this corner point as you can see it's projecting on the x-axis toward 20 so you have 20 and on the y-axis or the x2 it's projecting on 60 so 20 and 60 that's my corner point then you have a corner point in here which is obviously 0 and 0 the origin point of the Cartesian you have a corner point in here and this is uh, 30 and 20 and you have a corner point here the x-axis is 30 
and the y axis is zero since it's lying on the x1 or on the x axis. So those are, are my corner points. I will take each point of those and plug it in in my maximization equation and whatever point giving you the maximum z then that's called your optimal solution as simple as that okay so here we have an exercise which is following what we are describing try to find all corner points that's what we just did evaluate the objective function of 3x1 plus 2x2 at those points so this problem was when this problem was solved it was giving you maximize the z to equal 3 x1 plus 2 x2 we are seeking the maximum value of z now by talking about optimal solution means the biggest value of z okay so for the point let's start with the point 0 and 80 let's plug it in so the z in this case how much would it equal it will be 3 multiplied by x1 which is 0 plus 2 multiplied by x2 which is 80 and this give you a value of z of 160 what if we try the point 0 and 0 it's obvious just let's do it z equals 0 then what if we take another point let's take the point 20 and 60 in this case the solution for the z the z value equals 3 multiplied by 20 plus 2 multiplied by 60 and this gives you 60 plus 120 this gives you 180 and the point 30 and 0 this will give you a value of z to equal 3 by 30 which is 90 plus 0 and z equals 90 so clearly we can see so let's call this z1 z2 z3 z4 so we can see first z was 160 0 90 180 we are looking to maximize the z of uh, this linear programming model so our optimal solution is for the z equals 180 which is related to the point 20 and 60. so we say 20 and 60 based on those results is the optimal solution for our problem so in this case we found our corner points and we found our optimal solution which is located at the point 20 and 60 right so the optimal solution I'm just writing that uh, putting that in writing here optimal solution is located at the point x1 and x2 which is 20 and 60 so the point of intersection at 20 and 60 in here this point is formed between this line crossing with this line and this is encapsulating part of the feasible region as you can see in here so the intersection of two lines forming the boundary of the feasible region so 
the lines we use to construct the feasible region come from inequalities or the constraints that we have in our problem. So that's the points on the line that satisfy the particular inequality with equality. And for something to mention for binding constraints, the constraints that satisfies the equality. So for the solution of the point 20 and 60, binding constraints, so those lines that are crossing are representing the equations x1 plus x2 less or equal to 80 and 2x1 plus x2 less or equal to 100 because 20 plus 60 equal 80 and uh, 2 by 20 plus 60 equal 100 so the constraint of x1 less or equal to 40 is not a binding so x1 equal to 40 40 will be somewhere here so x1 equal to 40 it's not a crucial player in the game so it's not a big player um, in the game in here so we just care about those lines and those lines the lines are form that are forming and encapsulating the feasible region are the lines of interest we call them bonding lines or binding constraints um, if you have any constraint that's outside of the feasible region it's not participating in forming the feasible region we call it um, a not binding or a non-binding uh, constraint so the constraint as we mentioned called binding because we change um, we if we change that we could change the face of region either lightly or uh, greatly any change to the binding constraints either make the solution not optimal or not feasible so if you change the equation for this line or for this line you may end up having your line this way or you're having your line I don't know maybe this line will be this way so they will never meet to each other so the feasible region is generalized somewhere here so you can't tell there is a feasible region or an optimal solution so that's something to keep in mind it's good to know when you have your cross points or the corner points to know what equations were responsible of forming that point just to know for the theorem number two that's what we will finish our lecture today with every linear program has uh, one of the four choices either it has a unique optimal solution or it has multiple uh, optimal solutions or it is infeasible so there's no feasible solution as we said two lines are open they never encapsulate a certain region to be a feasible region or unbounded so no feasible solution is maximal let's say all the points are equal for some reason um, could be many other different scenarios but we call it as unbounded there's no feasible solution that is considered maximum